All right, guys, I have it in hand. The brand new fragrance from the brand of Initio Parfums, Narcotic Delight. How good is this fragrance? Is it worth the price point? I'm going to get all into it in just a minute. So if you want to hear my thoughts, you know how we go. Let's do it. Follow me this way. <laughs> all right, guys, my name is Darian. I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances primarily, but I give you guys some style. Fashion tips as well. I think you need to look good if you're going to smell good. So if you're into looking good and smelling great, make sure you hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. So that way, when I upload a new video, you get notified. All right, guys, you heard it in the intro. We're talking about the newest fragrance from the brand of Initio Parfums, Narcotic Delight. Is this a delightful fragrance? Well, we're going to find out in just a moment. I'm going to run the intro, and when we come back, we're going to get all into it. If you want to hear my thoughts, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Let's do this. Let's do this. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into the video. The newest release from Initial Parfum, Narcotic Delight. This is the presentation. If you've seen any Initial Parfum fragrance from this collection, you have seen them all as it relates to the presentation because they all look the freaking same. So your fragrance will rest in the base of the box. I almost said securely, but that's not always the case, especially once it's shipped. Sometimes they're not sitting securely in here, but if it's sitting properly, it will be rather secure in the base of the box. Okay? Simply remove it. Like that. And here you go. Again, if you've seen one bottle from Initio, you've seen them all. There's a cap. Other information for the fragrance on the bottom of the bottle. This is a 3.3 ounce bottle. This is a 3 ounce, I'm sorry, 3.04 ounce bottle. It is 90 ml and this is an EDP concentration. Now I have the dry down here on my wrist. I'm going to spray my hand so you can see the sprayer. You can see how that bad boy works. Nice mist. So let's get into it, guys. To me, this is a really, in my humble opinion, this is a kind of easy fragrance to really break down and decipher, to be quite honest with you. Now, guys, I got my bottle from fragranceby.ca, which is a discounter um, over in Canada. And guys, listen, right now, this fragrance retails for $378, and they have it on sale for $237 bucks for this new fragrance. So at that price point, I definitely think that it's worth it uh, for you to jump on and I think I have a discount code if I do I'll flash it across the screen but going from 378 to 237 bucks for a brand new release is really good so make sure you head over to fragranceby.ca if you're interested I will link it down below and check this fragrance out now this fragrance as I said is really easy to break down and decipher when it opens up you get a slightly bitter cherry right it's not like the cherry that you get in Tom Ford's Lost Cherry or Bodacious by Bodicea Victorious. This is a slightly more bitter uh, kind of cherry note that you get here. It is really spicy, and that's coming from black pepper, and you get tobacco. In the very opening of this fragrance, that's what you get. Now, very shortly thereafter, three minutes or so in, here comes the booziness. Cognac starts to really take form in the fragrance about three minutes into it, and you're going to get an addition of the note of vanilla. Now at about that 10 minute mark, I start to pick up a little bit more on Hedion, which is really like Jasmine. And that's about 10 minutes into the wearing, the Jasmine comes in, a lot of the spiciness from the pink pepper and the black pepper start to really subside 10 minutes into the fragrance. And you got a little bit, a little hint of the cherry left as well. Now at that 10 minute mark, like I said, tobacco, booziness from cognac, a slight hit of Jasmine and a slight bit of that cherry is left with vanilla. 
and about 30 minutes into it, when it dries all the way down, all you're gonna be left with is tobacco, cognac, vanilla. And it's really that freaking simple. That's what this fragrance is. That's how it develops. All the notes listed here, which is, you don't always get this. You can kind of decipher all of the, note, all of the notes um, in the fragrance that are listed. You can really smell them playing a role in this fragrance as it really starts to develop. And again, I know that's seemingly a really simple breakdown, but that's really what this fragrance is. It To me, it's a really simple um, fragrance to kind of understand and interpret. At least for me, it was once I put it on my skin. Now, this fragrance does to me resemble another fragrance from this same line, the same brand, which is Side Effect. I know how popular Side Effect has been, so if you definitely, if you don't have side effect, I definitely think this is one that you want to get in your collection because it has some facets of side effect. They're not exactly the same, but it does have some facets there. Uh, like side effect, this fragrance also is boozy. This fragrance also is spicy, although that, if I'm not mistaken, uses cinnamon. Uh, this has that black pepper, pink pepper combination. Uh, and also, of course, there's tobacco in that fragrance and there's tobacco here. So there are some similarities there but there are also some differences. The main difference here is that note of cherry. The cherry is really the game changer uh, in Narcotic Delight. It smells fantastic, and, but if I had to give one hit to the fragrance, it would be the fact that it reminds me of another fragrance from the same brand. So there's that. Now, as far as performance goes, this is a six and a half, seven and a half hour uh, performance. The two times that I have worn this, I've kind of had varying results. Six and a half hours, seven and a half hours, the second time that I wore it. So I would say that it kind of falls somewhere in between. Now, as far as seasons, reasons, and occasions, I would really say this is a cooler weather fragrance. The brand of Initio overall to me, a lot of their fragrances are uh, more on the darker, sweeter, more sensual side. So a lot of them are uh, fragrances that I would reach for in the cooler months of the year. Now, I know there are people out there that live by the wear what you want, when you want, and that's cool. I don't have a problem with that. I don't argue with that. But me personally, I, I stick to more of a seasonal and occasions approach to certain fragrances. And I would wear this in the cooler months of the year, more of a sensual or date night uh, type of setting or going out would be my preference to wear a scent profile like this. Again, just like I would do uh, with side effect with side effect from this same brand. So my overall opinion, I think on a scale of one to 10, I give this a seven and a half out of 10. Um, I took off points again, primarily because it smelled a lot like another fragrance from the same brand and from the same line. So that's where I take most of the points off of this, but overall at the end of the day, it smells great. You know, I think if you like side effect, you're going to love this one as well. Again, especially with that addition of that, uh, that cherry note here. And again, if you want to pick it up, I would get it at a discount. Fragrancebuy.ca, $237, coming down from $378 is a steal uh, for the fragrance. And um, I highly recommend you guys check it out. If you like those sweeter, sexy scent profiles, you probably will like the newest release from Initial Parfums. This is Narcotic Delight. But that is it, guys. That is my time. That's kind of my initial impressions, kind of initial review of Narcotic Delight from Initial Parfums. What are your thoughts on it? Have you smelled it? Have you tried it? Do you like it? If so, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.